Eugene Chang, Chief Strategy Officer of Kinetics U.S. Arm, recently spoke with GovConWire to talk about the company's history, the impetus behind its recent acquisition and how the company's strategic priorities are shifting in today's evolving federal landscape. Read Eugene Chang's full executive spotlight interview at GovConWire.com. Robert Hebner, who previously held business development roles at Akima and Northrop Grumman, has joined the Defense and Intel Operating Group of ASRC Federal as Vice President of Business Development. Empower AI President and CEO, Paul Dillahay, recently received his 2022 WASH 100 Award in recognition of his leadership at the company, formerly known as NCI Information Systems. Collins Aerospace has been awarded a five-year, $583 million contract to produce the latest generation of positioning, navigation and timing system for the U.S. Army's uncrewed and manned ground vehicles. Brad Peterson, a more than 35-year aerospace and defense industry veteran, has been named president and CEO of MD Helicopters following the acquisition of the company by an investment consortium led by MBIA Insurance and MB Global Partners. AM General will manufacture Humvee next generation lightweight shop equipment contact maintenance trucks for the U.S. Army under a $527.4 million contract. Former General Dynamics executive Carlo Zaffanella has been named president and CEO of the Maritime Division at Ultra Electronics. Executive Biz spoke with Marion Kennedy, Senior Vice President of Intelligence Market at LMI, in a recent executive spotlight interview. Visit the publication site to read the full Q&A. Join Govkin Wire's event's second annual Navy. It Transformation Forum on September 27, 2022. Visit govc on wire.com slash events. Raytheon's intelligence and space business will supply advanced synthetic aperture radar system 2B sensors and supplementary equipment to the U.S. Air Force under a nearly $184 million contract. Hawkeye 360 is looking to launch a new funding round, and possibly an initial public offering in the next two years, according to CEO John Serafini.